You're watching KPRC2, Houston's home for news. All right, we've been on a weather roller coaster these last few months from plunging temperatures one week to almost summer like conditions the next week, which you love. Yeah, yeah, we're on our way up <laughs> uh, on this portion of the road. Of the ride. Yeah, how does that impact your health, though? Doctors say mm -hmm. in the last few years there have been noticeable changes in illnesses that yeah. seem to relate to the weather. Health reporter Haley Hernandez talks about how weather patterns might affect respiratory viruses. Intense heat, above average temperatures. This is winter. The only thing consistent about the weather is that it's not. And a sneezing, sniffling, head pain, and congestion might be the result. Look at the upper 70s in February, and this week the 80s are coming. That's 20 degrees higher than typical temps. Doesn't seem like winter, and your health can feel the heat. I'm seeing a lot of like more allergic reaction cases or sinusitis infections because I feel like the polling count's gotten a little bit worse and it's been affecting people more frequently. So it's actually pushed out a lot longer than I would have anticipated. Um, usually by the end of January, mid January, we would have already like cleaned up all that. But that is something new that I've seen since the last three to four years. Kelsey Siebel, Dr. Bella Grew Ravi tells me this year's severe seasons with flu, RSV, and overall more frequent infections can partially be blamed on the weather. Because the fluctuations can contribute to people having more re recurrent upper respiratory infections, especially people that have underlying asthma or they're already at a higher risk. While there's no proof that weather affects your health, there's good reason you won't see a scientific study to prove it. I mean, it's hard to objectively quote a study for weather fluctuations, so we can't control for that. It's purely based off of clinical experience and like seeing patients come in more frequently in certain time frames. So, you know, it's, 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 it's nuanced, but I can tell you just based on what I'm seeing. So what can you do about it? There are some ailments impacted by weather that you can try to prevent, like spring sinuses and allergies. Doctors recommend starting now with over-the-counter nasal steroids to reduce inflammation and build up your system to fight pollen in the coming weeks. Other over-the-counter therapies like antihistamines, whether it's a pill or nasal spray, may help too, as well as nasal irrigation devices like a neti pot. Now is also the time to think about keeping the spring pollen from getting inside your home. That means keeping windows closed in your car and at home and making sure that your pets don't bring pollen into your bed. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.